Hey guys, today I've thrown away Photoshop and I'm going to be drawing myself in Microsoft Paint. Oh boy. The biggest setback in uh, Microsoft Paint is that there are no layers. Oh my goodness, that is the biggest, like, that's the one thing that makes this program not cool. Like, if it had layers, that would be just awesome. Anyway, um, I used to draw in Microsoft Paint all the time and then way back in the day when I had a mouse and I was like eight years old I would fill the background black and then I'd grab that um, spray paint tool and I'd use the neon colors and just write my name over and over again and then I started writing all my family members names like it was crazy like I don't know why I had so much fun <laughs> in Microsoft Paint but I I did it was awesome so anyway um even after I got my tablet though I still used Microsoft Paint for a little while before I got the GIMP installed on my computer um, and uh, the most important tool that Microsoft Paint has, and it sort of combats that layer problem that I was talking about, and I'm going to explain how that works, or what you need to do to combat the layer problem. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what you do is you're going to grab a color that's very light, and you'd be able to see the line art over it. So if you look here where I'm drawing, I used a purple color, and then I'm using a black line art color. It's very important to use separate colors for your sketch and your line art. Um, so what I do is you, you again use the light color so that you can see the black over it. And once you're done with your line art over your sketch, you're going to kick that um, color two button. See how that, oh my goodness, did you just notice something? This sketch layer just magically disappeared. Should I explain that? I'm trying to, but I interrupted myself. <laughs> so you're going to change color two. You see up at the top it has color one and color two. Color one is what you're drawing with. Color two is like the transparent color. But to do that, you do have to click on um, the top left. It says select. And down at the bottom, it'll be like transparent something. Transparent selection. Make sure that is checked for this to work. Okay, then you make... Make the color two the same color as your sketch layer. And then when you grab the selection and you select all the line art and you move it over, the the part that was the purple is now white. This is so freaking hard to explain. <laughs> I hope it's making sense. But once I figured this out, as a wee little child, it made life so much easier and you're able to, you know, create line art without all this annoying sketchy stuff in the way. And you can actually use the paint bucket tool and fill the color in and it's just perfect. So I hope that helps someone who doesn't have any other programs but MS Paint, because it's a cool place to start. I, I learned to draw a lot of different things in Microsoft Paint and use and learned cell shading. Cell shading is so much easier when you use the pencil tool. Um, I should probably point out that I didn't use any of the brushes in MS Paint. I just, those are, those are really cheesy and gimmicky. Like if you're a kid, they're probably a lot of fun, but they're not what I wanted right now. Like I would have had a blast with those as a kid. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I had this um, Disney artist studio thing as a really little kid, and it had, like, the weirdest brushes. Like, you had one that was just, like, it was basically like holding a tube of paint, and you were just squishing it out onto the canvas, and it would leave, like, it had that bevel to it, and it was just, it looked like goop, and then you could grab, like, the finger tool and, like, smoosh it around. Okay, many hours spent in that. I should draw something in that. I wonder if I could find that program and draw something in that. That would actually be really, really fun. <laughs> Let me know if you had that program. It was it was like Mickey's Artist Studio or something. I really don't have a clue what that was called. Um, anyway, I used the pencil tool, the eraser tool, and the paint bucket tool to create this illustration of me <laughs> in my winter jacket because it is freezing outside right now. Um, and that's all I could think of drawing. I really wanted to draw my big poofy jacket. Okay, I'm going to be honest. That's what I wanted to draw. And uh, all my winter gear. Um, with everything... One thing that I wish I could change about this drawing is that I drew the head too big, but because it is MS Paint, you can't just grab the selection tool and shrink it. So, uh, <laughs> I think you can actually resize selections, but because I used the pencil tool, it would have distorted the, um, what's that, the anti-alias, and then the paint bucket tool wouldn't work properly, so... But other than that, I really, really like it. I think I did pretty good picking colors, even though the uh, color selector is a lot different than the one in Photoshop. So I was kind of like a little bewildered at first. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. And it actually took me a very long time to draw this, which I would, I consider this to be a simple illustration. But it took me an age to draw because of, like, you can't zoom in and out using shortcuts. There were no shortcuts. Ooh, there's another thing I wish Microsoft Paint had. It would make it 
much easier. Anyway, this is the finished illustration. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys draw in Microsoft Paint, and if you do, share it with me on Instagram at Drawing with Waffles, and I'll totally check it out. Yeah, share it with me. That'd be awesome. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a very delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.